Hey everybody, so ignore this. Um, I'm just popping in here before the video starts just to say uh, thank you for people that were interested in me making a video on how I make transparent backgrounds on Affinity. I did an Instagram live post a couple months back and some people were like, I would love to see this in more detail. So I got you. I made a video and it will go into detail on how I use Affinity to make these simple, really fast, transparent backgrounds um, for my illustrations that I make by hand. So awesome. To be watching, if you're interested in more information you don't want to listen to my voice the whole time, to the link below for the blog post. Okay, everyone good? Okay, let's get started. So I've already scanned in the art with just my normal HP printer at a high um, resolution. So the first thing you want to do is do a new adjustment and go over to black and white. Um, you want to just create a really strong contrast so it's easier to get that white background taken out. Um, so I just moved all of those colors all the way down to black so that every color is the darkest setting. Uh, that just hurt for a quick second. Um, but yeah, so once that's been done, I'm just going to hit close because I don't really need it to be fully integrated into the graphic. You'll see why in a second. So then you're going to go to select sample color and you're going to make sure you're selected on. I made it oopsie here and I wasn't selected on the right thing. You want to make sure you're selected on the white background of the image. Um, and once you're selected on that, you hit apply. And once you apply it, you just can hit delete on your computer to remove that background. See? All easy peasy. So you do see I still have those numbers and little marks um, that were outside the actual image. So I just go in with an eraser and go and get those uh, squares out. Yeah, zoomed in. So you can just see, I just go in and get that. Um, but I have to, of course, make sure that that image is selected um, and that the background and everything has been deselected. I messed up here. There we go. See, I'll make mistakes too, but super easy to fix. Just deselected it and then selected those numbers and then hit delete just like you would do the other ones. And you just do that for all any extra um, dark marks that you wouldn't want. Sometimes that could be um, a brush stroke that went over the normal um, area and or like you just don't want to have to crop it down or anything like that. You can always edit out sections if you liked one part of your piece but you didn't like another and things like that. You can always change it uh, with the select and delete tool. It's pretty awesome. So once those are all deleted you'll have a fully transparent background. Um, and now you're going to say, Rebecca, why do I have black and white? You had hot pink icons. How do you deal with that? Um, so once those are all now deselected, alrighty, so they've been deselected. So one, I'm going to go into the image and I'm going to delete that black and white. That's why we didn't add it to the actual image. It's just kind of like an overlay to the graphic itself um, so that I can delete it. And there you go. It's back to being pink with no extra adjustments. Um, if the, I didn't like the scan settings, I might adjust the, um, the saturation, the contrast, all that on the actual pink. But I was cool with this today. Um, after that, I would just go to export. Once it lets me click on export <laughs> and select a PNG file to make sure it has a transparent background and I can do it to the size and resolution I wanted. Um, if you are looking to do each icon on separate, uh, I would just make artboards for each one and just copy paste and crop down to the individual icon and then save those all themselves. And then you're all set and that's your icon. Isn't that awesome? So easy. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did and you want more videos like this on how I use Affinity to make simple 
blog type graphics and things like that definitely hit me up in the comments or Instagram DMs leave a comment on the blog post whatever just let me know I would love to give you more resources that are simple user-friendly ain't nothing fancy